Well, it's about 15 minutes before the auction starts, and I have uh, taken some extensive notes uh, about what is there. Uh, some good things, some not so great things. Uh, the comic books that I mentioned in my preview, they're in really kind of terrible condition, so I'm not even interested in purchasing those. Um, I did a little more research on the uh, on the Jadeite tea jar. I've adjusted my uh, my upper limit on my bid for that to about $150. Uh, very much like the uh, the P38 trench art piece. Uh, there's another uh, trench art lot in there of uh, two sets of bookends uh, that I'm interested in. Um, uh, I did like the cane uh, that was there, the Victorian cane, still keeping that at $125 top bid. Um, obviously I'm not going to be able to get everything that I'm interested in but, um, you know, it's good to have notes on everything just in case uh, something goes by and I don't get it. I can move on to the next thing. I was disappointed to see that they took the uh, talcum powder tins and broke them into three separate lots. But, uh, but I'm keeping my eye on them nonetheless. And um, let me see, what other interesting things? found a uh, Transformers... Uh, wristwatch that uh, that was in the original packaging uh, and I'm kind of excited to see how that goes um, found some uh, some other interesting tins and uh, yeah I, I found a an, a, a honer accordion, accordion. Uh, most honer instruments are harmonicas this happens to be an accordion and it's in the original box of all things uh, so I'm curious to see how that does. Uh, but I'm excited about the auction. It'll start in just a few minutes. So I'm going to head in and see how I do. Wish me luck. Okay, a quick recap of the auction for tonight. Uh, as you recall, I had $404 and some change to spend, which uh, I did some calculations with the 15% buyer's premium. Uh, I was going to have uh, room to bid up to $350 um, uh, on, on any lots that I bid on. And so uh, my total bidding actually uh, wound up being three hundred and ten dollars and I bought ten lots and I'm very excited about the things that I got um, I got a uh, uh, I got the scrapbook that I talked about uh, I think I said I was willing to spend about a hundred bucks on that I only spent fifty dollars on it and uh, um, what I hadn't even realized in the preview is that uh, there's a uh, there's a signature in there uh, from Cecil B DeMille uh, and there's also a program in there from the premiere of the movie The Outlaw, starring Jane Russell. And uh, and I think that's pretty scarce, so I'm pretty excited to see how that does. Uh, I did get the, uh, uh, the, the, the talc tins, even though they were split into three different lots. Uh, I think I spent a total of about $70 on those. Um, I bought a fountain pen that was in the original box. Not the Parker that I had... Uh, talked about previously, but a different pen altogether, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and uh, let's see here, I bought some uh, some toy uh, bicycle license plates. Uh, I, oh, I bought the cane, uh, the the uh, the gold handled cane. Uh, I had said I was willing to spend up to $125. It only cost me 75 bucks. Um, I bought a, a a neat Transformers. Uh, wristwatch that was still in the original package. I only paid ten dollars for it, and I saw some of those online well over a hundred dollars. So I'm pretty excited to see how that goes. Uh, oh, the Jadeite tea canister I also got for fifty bucks. So all in all, uh, I spent three hundred and ten dollars uh, on bids plus another forty-six dollars and fifty cents. 
So I spent $356.50, uh, which you can see right here. And uh, tomorrow I'll make a video and go over in detail all of the cool stuff that I got. Thanks. Okay, as I promised, I'm going to show you the things that I got at the auction last night. I'm very excited about uh, everything that I got. Uh, I spent, uh, spent close to my full budget, but still have a little bit of money in reserve. And uh, uh, without uh, further ado, let's take a look at what I got. Uh, here's a good overall look of everything that I purchased. And uh, you can see here, I spent $356.50. Uh, and let's go through things uh, item by item. Uh, the first thing is this uh, Chronoform uh, Robot Time Machine wristwatch. You can see it's in the original package. Uh, this is a Transformers toy. Um, all of the prices that I quote will... Uh, uh, will have a 15% buyer's premium added to them. Uh, so this was $10 that I got this for. I think I've seen them online for at least 60 bucks. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I had uh, mentioned uh, that I was interested in this cane and uh, was willing to spend as much as $125 on it. And... Uh, I got this for a $75 bid. It's in pretty nice condition. It does have a little ding in the handle there. And there are a couple of small dents there at the, uh, in the heel of the, of the handle. But overall in very nice condition. Um, uh, I mentioned that I didn't get the, uh, the, the Parker pen and pen stand. Uh, but I did get this fountain pen for a $10 bid, um, and uh, it's in the original box. I think it has been used, but only slightly. Uh, it's an Esterbrook, and I paid $10 for that. Uh, another thing that I didn't mention yesterday was all of these uh, toy bicycle license plates. And these were, uh, these were a premium that you could send away for uh, to General Mills uh, if you bought enough boxes of Wheaties. And uh, they're all from 1953 and 1954. Uh, there are a total of 25 of them. I got them for a $35 bid, and my research is showing that I should be able to, uh, to get about $7 to $10 a piece for them. Um, I'll have to pay shipping on top of that, uh, but still, should be a, a, a very good buy. Uh, I bought this pair of tins uh, that, uh, that both feature monkeys on them. Uh, on the right you see the Shep's Coconut, and on the left is a Huntley and Palmer's tin. Huntley and Palmer is a biscuit company in, uh, in England and people collect their tins pretty extensively. Uh, the, uh, the Sheps on the right is a little rusty on the back. Uh, there's some damage uh, to some of the design on the, uh, on the Huntley and Palmers. I only paid $10 for the pair of them. I'm hoping I'll do uh, pretty well with that. Uh, I got this McKee tea canister. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I was willing to spend uh, as much as $125 for it, and, uh, and I got it for a $50 bid. Um, I think it's going to be worth about, uh, about two to $300 online, uh, so I'm pretty excited to see how I do with that. I need to clean it up a bit. I also mentioned that the, uh, that the talcum powder tins were um, we're broken up into three different lots, uh, two lots of four and a lot of five. I bought all three lots and spent a total of $70 for the 13 tins. 
Some are in better condition than others. Uh, I think I should be able to get about $10 to $15 a piece for them. Um, this may turn out to, to be, you know, one of my lesser buys of the day. But, uh, but still a worthwhile, uh, a worthwhile experiment. And then the best for last is this scrapbook. Uh, now I had mentioned uh, that, that I was interested in this and had shown a couple of photos of this in my previous video. Um, uh, you can see here that, uh, that there are some uh, interesting additions in here. Uh, lots of interesting autographs, uh, one in particular that they never even advertised. I don't know if they actually paid attention to what it was, but it's this autograph right here, which is Cecil B. DeMille. Uh, they had shown in their, uh, in their advertising uh, this Edgar Bergen uh, autograph. Uh, and then there's there's a lot of uh, just World War II related uh, things in general. Uh, the uh, the person who put together put this together uh, appears to be this gentleman's wife. Uh, his name is uh, I believe Abe uh, Rosen. There we go. And uh, he was a doctor in World War II. Um, and one of the uh, uh, true finds of the night, this may be the best find at the auction, uh, is this here. Uh, it is a, uh, a screening program from the movie The Outlaw. And if you'll notice here, it's from the uh, world premiere uh, on February 5th, 1943. Now, The Outlaw was a very controversial film uh, when it was first released. Uh, it is the, uh, the film premiere of Jane Russell. It was produced by Howard Hughes. And uh, he, uh, he got into a lot of trouble. The, the movie was copyrighted 1941. You'll notice again that it's a 1943 debut. He held it in the can for two years uh, before releasing it. In 1943, this movie was only released for about a week before he got in trouble uh, with, uh, with the censorship board and, uh, and wound up shelving the film for another three years. So anything related to this film, uh, especially from 1943, is, uh, is pretty scarce. So I'm, I'm doing some research on this uh, with a website called emovieposter.com. Uh, where I've bought a lot of movie posters, and uh, I have an inquiry in with them about potentially consigning this with them. This may be worth several hundred dollars. And that's about it. That's what I got at the auction. Um, I think I'm going to do pretty well with everything, and I uh, uh, figured I'd sign off with this, uh, with this Valentine uh, as February is coming right up, and let's see how we do.